Alarm fatigue is a phenomenon which occurs in hospital staff uh, when uh, many information is received, including alarm signals. And uh, they tend to die out if they are continued over a longer period of time. No, there's often missed an understanding about alarm fatigue, huh? that is negligence uh, of, of the hospital staff. But that, that isn't true. It's uh, in the nature of our nervous system. And uh, it's this example where with putting on your watch in the morning. So at first instance, you feel your watch, but during the day, uh, you don't feel the watch anymore or, or your shoes. So this is a physiological uh, phenomenon. And the only approach to reduce that, to eliminate that, is to use uh, the, uh, the amount of alarm system and noise on hospital wards. Well, especially if you look into uh, wards like a cardiac unit, an IC unit, uh, there is 80% uh, about false positives on, on alarm signals. So this really creates uh, a situation where alarm fatigue can often happen. And there are examples uh, of cases which has really uh, gone really wrong. Well, what you, what you see, I think, in many hospitals, also in the, in the high quality care hospital infrastructures, that's it often uh, fragmented. So we have the information flows, but they are separate. We have the equipment, but they don't work together. They're all signaling, uh, each on their own, their alarm signals and their beeps. So we need integrators, companies like ASCOM, who's looking to the different information flows, uh, different kind of equipments, different signals, and integrate this into one solution. One solution for organizing your workflow pro process more efficiently, reduce the noise, and uh, make the logistic and decision-making more purposeful.